Hello friends, school steps dot in welcomes you again. Last time we worked on the mobile module of syncing data items. In this tutorial, we'll work on the wear module. Let's continue. Open Android Studio and open the project by data layer data item. Now under the wear module, open the class my listener service. Now we need to make changes in this particular class. While writing the program to send message, we override the method own message received. In this tutorial, we need to override the method own data changed. Click OK. It will override the method. Now let's delete this line and right here let's declare a data map variable. Now next thing that we need to do here is we need to run a for loop on the data events. So right here we need to say for data event colon data events and inside the for loop we need to check one if condition so we need to say if data event dot get type is equal to is equal to data event dot type changed then inside the if condition we need to get the string path is equal to data event dot get data item dot get uri dot get path so if you notice inside the own message received method inside the if condition we are using message event dot get path and we are comparing the path with the variable data path in the similar way right here using the get path method we are getting the path and now we need to put another if condition to compare this path with the variable data path so we need to say if path dot equals ignore case variable data path then do something so the thing which we are doing differently here is this if condition we are checking for the data event type changed that means if there is any change in the data then execute this particular if condition and of course the way to get the path right here is different from what we did in the own message received method let's implement our if condition now inside the if condition we need to get the object of data map so we need to say data map is equal to data map item dot from data item and inside it we need to pass data event which we are getting from here dot get data item and outside the main bracket we need to say dot get data map so this will return us the object of data map let's put one log statement here so next we need to use intent to start our main activity as we did here and we need to pass data map to the main activity let's do it let me just paste the exact piece of code which we wrote here so right here rather than passing the message we need to pass the data map let's delete it from here and right here just before the start activity we need to say array of string my array is equal to new string let's define the size as 5 let's say my array of 0 is equal to string dot value of and inside it let's say data map dot get long and let's pass the key which is time so if you remember in our previous tutorial we created one data map and we passed the key values inside the data map let me open it quickly so we need to open the main activity of mobile module and if you see right here inside the data map we put four values one was a time and other one were one two and three so let's go back to the service let's say my array of one is equal to data map dot get string and our key is one in the similar way let's call the other values so right here just before the start activity we need to say start intent dot put extra let's give the key as data map and let's pass the value as my array so what we have done is we have passed the values of data map to the array of string and we are passing the array of string to the main activity as a parameter right here 
So now we can delete the method own message received. One small correction here. Rather than saying array of 5, we need to say array of 4. So now next thing that we need to do is to go to the main activity of VR module. So inside the main activity, instead of getting the string, we need to get the array of string. So let's delete this piece of code and right here, let's say array of string data map is equal to get intent dot get string array extra. And we need to pass data map, which is our key. Next, we need to put one if condition to make sure that data map is not null. Right here, let's create one object of string builder and let's run a for loop. Let's say string s colon data map and let's say builder dot append and right here let's say s plus a comma in the double quotes so what exactly is happening here we are running a for loop on the array of string fetching the values of array and converting into a single string separated by comma so outside the for loop we need to say m text view dot set text and we need to say builder dot to string. Let's put one else condition here and right here. Let's say waiting for the data map. That is it. Let's run our program now. Here is the output. Application is installed on both emulator as well as on the cell phone. You can see that cell phone is not connected to the emulator at this point in time. I have recently updated the SDK and that is why the look and feel of AVD is little different here. Now let's open the application on the cell phone. In the previous tutorial, we missed to change the label of the button. I have changed it to send data item. Earlier it was send message. Let's press the button and you can see the logs in the background. You can see that data item is sent successfully. Now let's connect the cell phone with the emulator. As soon as we connect it, data item will be synced with the emulator. Syncing data item may take some time if the CPU is busy doing the other things. That is it. Friends, with this I take your leave. Thank you so much. Please like our page on facebook.com slash let's android. If you have any query, do write us at info at schoolsteps.in or schoolstepsin at gmail.com. Thank you.